Hello, this is part two of the WordPress theme development series using the boilerplate theme by Tidy Themes called Blank Slate. Part one was an introduction to the boilerplate theme and how to install it. I want to begin part two by creating five simple temporary CSS rules to give us a visual map of the page in front of us and to later talk about the corresponding files. As mentioned in the introduction, by default, WordPress sets the home page to display the post page. This is shown here and it's what the five CSS rules will be applied to. I'll be modifying the WordPress default settings for the home page later in the series. Again, as mentioned in part one, this series assumes that participants have prior knowledge how to work with a local install of WordPress.org and therefore uh, where to access theme files. But once located, looking down the list of the blank slates theme files on the far left in the file tree, we see the 404.php file at the top and all the way down to the tag.php file and the style.css file here, which I have opened already. This course will work with all of these files. Opening the style.css file for the first time in Blank Slate, you'll see at the very top the theme's name, Blank Slate, then some information and links to further documentation. Next up, starting on line 17, already present are the browser reset rules. And line 18 is a list of classes made available to us by Blank Slate. I've commented these out for the time being and will return to this later. Now for the five simple CSS rules for background colour and some padding, just to give us a visual map of the page we see here. As I write, the CSS is previewed live in the browser to the right of screen. I'll explain where I'm getting the ID and class names from very shortly, uh, but giving the first the ID of header, the second the class of post, third the ID of sidebar, and last, the ID of footer. Finally, grouping the four together to add some padding. So again, the changes uh, are immediately visible to the right. And there we have it, the basic structural elements of the page separated by colour. Let's take a look at the associated files, classes and IDs. In the style.css file, now in the right pane of the code editor, the ID header corresponds to the top section of the site seen on the far right of screen here and to the file header.php in the file tree to the far left of screen. Taking a look in the header.php file, there's a bunch of code already written in. This is by default of the blank slate theme. The header element comes with a predefined ID of header, exactly what I used earlier to create the CSS rule for background colours. The use of IDs in selectors is controversial, but I'm sticking with this for the time being. Leaving the class of post to last and skipping to the ID of sidebar in the CSS, its corresponding section is the third section down in the site on the far right of screen and the file sidebar.php in the file tree to the far left. Taking a look in the sidebar.php file, again, there's a bunch of code already written in and here the aside is given the ID of sidebar, again, exactly what I used to create the CSS rule. Similarly, the ID of footer corresponding to the bottom section in the site and to the file footer.php highlighted in the file tree to the far left. Taking a look in the footer.php file, here's the predefined ID of footer, again what was used in the uh, CSS rule. Now back to the class of post, WordPress by default outputs the class of post for the posts. This is visible in the developer tools window far right of screen. Of course, there are numerous ways to style your posts and we'll work with these further into the series. The class of post relates to the index.php file 
and the index.php file is the top level file of a number of files that handle the post in blank slate. There'll be more on this in preceding tutorials. I've simply replicated the default WordPress class of post as a temporary rule for simplicity at this stage. Well, that wraps up part two, which in summary has created five simple temporary CSS rules to outline the basic structural elements and their associated .php files of the posts page. In part three, I'll be building out the header, including the main menu. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in part three.